Hey guys, what's up? So this is your SP man and today we are going to do one super easy topic in organic chemistry. You know, the topic is easy for me because I have studied chemistry since so many years and I am sure it must be very tough for you. Let's see the topic, organic conversions. I am deadly sure that you hate the topic organic conversion. So today I have got some tricks for you and uh, you know I have divided all the conversions in 6 or 7 types. So I will be teaching you all the types one after the other and then you see you will be able to solve all the conversions very very easily. So without wasting any further time let me start with the first type that I will be recording in today's video which is change in position of functional group. Now, if I talk about the chapter Haloalkanes, Haloalenes, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 questions of the same type and any one of them can be there in your exam. So, you just need to understand what is this type and then we'll practice all these questions from this type and we'll be done. Okay, so let's start with the topic. So, as I told you, the topic is change in position of functional group. If I give you one example, this is the question but 1e to but 2e. Let me first draw the structure. We have CH3, CH2, CH double bond and CH2. So, that is but 1e and we have to convert it to but 2e, which is CH3, CH double bond CH, CH3. Okay, now see carefully why I am including this question in the type where there is a change in position of functional group. The only functional group present in this molecule is a double bond. You can see earlier the position of double bond is 1 and now the position of double bond is 2. So the double bond is changing its position from 1 to 2. Okay, now in every question of this type what you have to do, let's start with this thing again. We have CH3, CH2, CH double bond, CH3. So that is our question. What we have to do in this question is simply do HBr addition. You started right, this is Markovnikov's addition. When an unsymmetrical reagent, so the plus and the minus, okay, I'm telling you the shortcut directly. So whenever you are adding HBr to any alkene, you have to remember the negative part goes to that carbon out of these two which has less hydrogen. So this carbon has one hydrogen, this carbon has two hydrogens. So let's take this negative part and put it here. So obviously this H will go here, right? So what will be the product we'll be getting? CH3, CH2. So this Br comes to the center carbon, this we got and H goes to the side carbon. So we are getting this thing. Done? So this is our first step that is the addition of HBr. Now the second step, you do the opposite thing again. Opposite thing here means you do the elimination. And you have to remember for elimination reactions, you have to use an covalent K-O-H. So this is the most important reagent which you have to use for elimination reactions. Okay? Now see what you have to do. For elimination, you have to take, so you have to first of all mark the carbon with the functional group. So this is the functional group, so this is the carbon. From this carbon, you have to take out Br. So just take out the Br which we just added. And from the neighboring carbon, from this carbon, you have to take out one H. So when you do this, see, alcoholic K you add, Br will be going from this carbon and H will be going from the neighboring carbon. So final product will be CH3CH double bond CH and CH3 and I think this must be clear to you when I'm taking one group from here, one group from here so there will be a double bond which will be introduced in between. See this is the question. We started with 1, 2, 3, 4. We started with but 1 E and we ended up with but 2 E. Understood? So the only thing we have to follow is first you have to remove the double bond and then you have to create the double bond again. To remove the double bond, you have to do the Markovnikov addition, and to create the double bond, you have to do an oblique cage. Done with the first question, let's move to the second question. Let's see whether we can answer the second question on the same basis or there will be some uh, wrong thing. So, this is done, let me mark it. Now, let's start with the second question, which is 2 bromopropane. Let me first write 
down. One, two, three, and at the second position we have a bromo. So two bromopropane is to be converted to one bromopropane. So this, 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 and one bromopropane. Now see, is there a change in number of carbon atoms? No. We have three. We have three. What is the change? Here we are is at first position. Here we are is at second position. So can I say there is just a change in the position of function group? Let's follow the same thing again. What did I teach you? First, you have to remove the function group. So how do I? How should I remove the function group? Can I not do just elimination reaction? I have to create a double bond. And for elimination, I told you you have to put alcoholic KOH. When you put alcoholic KOH, BR goes from this carbon. Okay, let me write this is CH3, this is CH3. And when H goes from this carbon, it leads to the formation of CH3, CH, double bond, CH2. See, we just used alcoholic KOH and we got alkene. Now I have to do BR. I have to introduce one another functional group which is BR. But you have to remember, earlier we were to introduce BR at the center position. So I added HBR, which is Markovnikov's of the addition that I told you. But this time, I want BR to go at the side. So we have to do anti markovnikovs addition. Now what are the reagents for anti markovnikovs addition? You have learned in grade 11 and the reagent is peroxide. So you just add HBR in the presence of peroxide. And what is anti Markovnikov's rule? Whenever you see this peroxide, this negative part now goes to the carbon with more hydrogens. And hydrogen goes to this carbon. So finally we get CH3, CH. H was already there, we added one another H. And CH2 was already there, we added one BR. And hence we got the answer. See, we started with this and we got here. And what is the new process we did? Nothing new. The only thing was first make alkene, then you add HBR. That's it. So even this is done. Now let's move to the third question. The third question that we have is tertiary butyl bromide. So many students get confused with the structure tertiary butyl bromide. I'll tell you how to do it. See, tertiary means when we are will be attached to this carbon, this has to be attached to three further groups and since it is butyl so the total number of carbon atoms should be four. One, two, three, four. So this is tertiary butyl bromide. Let me put hydrogens. Okay. And we have to convert it to isobutyl bromide. What is iso? Iso means something like this. This is iso. Now how do you understand this is iso? So see if there is a BR attached to carbon, it should be attached to something like this. Something, this is 90 degree angle should be formed. So if 1, 2, 3 carbons are attached here, this is kind of iso. And since we have 4 carbons because it is butyl, so this will be isobutyl bromide. More details about naming will do in nomenclature. Right now my main concern is for the conversions, okay? Let me draw the structure again. Iso butyl bromide. Okay. Let's first try to figure out this is belonging to which category. How many carbon atoms? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Carbon atoms are not changing. It's just position of functional group, which is BR here is changing. Right? Now let's choose our mind again. What did I teach you? First do elimination. First make alkene. It the sub simple thing that you have to do is make alkene out of the given thing. And how to do that? Alcoholic KOH. Let me add alcoholic KOH. What did I teach you if alcoholic KOH is added? This carbon uses one BR and the neighboring carbon, it can be this, this or this, any carbon will lose hydrogen. And it will form CH3, C, CH3, there will be a carbon. That's it. You got the key? And now what did I tell you? You simply do Markovnikov's or anti Markovnikov's addition depending upon the product you want. You want BR at the corner, right? So I want BR at this corner. So I have to do HBR again in the presence of peroxide. H2O2 or any peroxide will take. So what will happen? H plus BR minus. So in anti Markovnikov, BR goes to the side with more number of hydrogens. 
and H goes to the side with less number of hydrogens. So you get CH3, CH, CH3, CH2, Br. Oh, oh that's the same thing that you got. Understood? What was the process? Make anti, do anti Markovnikovs or Markovnikovs. Same. That's also done. Let's move to the another question. Let's see whether we can answer this question or not. Let me write a question. It's 2 chloropropane to propane 1 all. A little uh, tricky question this is. So before I teach you this, let's first practice this question and then I'll do this question at last. This is 1 bromopropane. 1 bromopropane. Okay. And we have to convert it to 2 bromopropane. See, this is given in NCRD and this is just opposite of earlier question. Earlier we did 2 bromopropane to 1 bromopropane. Just pause the video, go back and see how we did it. And now we have to do 1 bromopropane to 2 bromopropane. Let's see. Let me draw the structure. 2 bromopropane. Step number 1. Number of carbon atoms, same. Only the change in the position of function. What do we need to do? We need to do elimination. Let's add alcohol molecule, which I am in love with this reagent because this is so damn useful. If you add alcoholic KOH, what will happen? Br goes from this carbon, H goes from this carbon. We get CH3, CH, double bond CH2. Now what do we need? We need the Br to be in the center. Now if Br has to be in the center, we don't do anti Markovnikovs. We rather do Markovnikovs. Let's do if I add HBr. Now Markovnikovs is without peroxide. Okay, don't get confused now. So this is plus one, minus one. So, Br- minus goes to the carbon with less hydrogen. H goes to the carbon with more hydrogen. And don't you think we get this product? Br comes here, CH3 goes there. That's it. So, this is the answer to our next question also. Now, finally, I'm going to do the last question, which is... So, this is same only. You don't have to get confused. It's just one step ahead to whatever we have done till now. And the question is... 2 chloropropane. CH3, CH, CN, CH3. This is 2 chloropropane and we have to do 1 propanol. We have CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. Now see how to do this. You must be thinking, ma'am, this doesn't belong to the category you explained that there is a change in position of function group. But I know one thing. Wherever there is CL, I can easily convert it to OH. So in my mind it is coming. What if I do in the opposite direction? Can you say that if I make CH3, CH3, CH2, CL, this can be easily converted to this. How? By adding aqueous chaos. This you know, this is like super easy reaction in organic conversions. Now my question is, don't you think this and this are the same thing that we did just in the change in the position of function group, right? And this is too easy for us. Let's try it out. What do we do? Alcoholic KOH. So put alcoholic KOH. What do we get? CH3, CH, double bond CH3. Now what do we need? CN at the corner. And how to do that? Just, okay, one thing you have to remember. Whenever we do this peroxide reaction, which is anti Markovnikov's reaction, you cannot do NCL peroxide. This is wrong. The peroxide reaction is only and only and only done with HPR. Do remember this. If you do not know why this happens, do study the first chapter of organic chemistry, GOC or in hydrocarbons. This is given in very much details. Or if you want, I will explain it to you later on. So what you have to do is simply add HPR in the presence of products. What will happen? Br goes to this carbon, H goes to this carbon. We get CH3, CH2, CH2, Br. That's okay. Now, if I do not want to go here, I can simply do aqueous KOH and then also Br can be replaced and we get OH. That's it. This is what the question was. So, not directly, but I think indirectly, even this question can be answered if you know this type of change in the position of function group. 
Now see, with just one logic, let me quickly repeat the logic that we started today. The logic was, you try to create alkene and then you do Markovnikov's or anti-Markovnikov's addition. We did this procedure or in some other questions, we did Markovnikov's and anti-Markovnikov's and then we get alkene and then further do Markovnikov's and anti-Markovnikov's addition. Right? You have to just know this procedure and you will be able to answer all these five questions from halogenes, halogenes, NCRT. So I hope you like this. That's it.